Hello and welcome to Mars and Maths. We're going through the GCC 2022 papers. This is higher paper one, question 10, and it's a cumulative frequency uh, table and graph. So the table shows some information about the profit made each day at a cricket club on 100 days. So the profit between 0 and 50, 10 days, 50 to 100, 15 days, 100 to 150, 25 days. Notice the inequality is including that, but not including that. 30, less than 200 to 250 was five days, and more than 250, less than 215 days. So now we have to turn that into a cumulative frequency table. So that means it's always gonna start from zero up to this interval here, and then going down that column. So the first category is 10, just like that table, but now we're gonna add 10 and 15, because it's going up to 100 from zero to 100, 25. Now we're going to add that 25 to get to 50, add the 30 to get to 80, add that 5, 85, add that 15 to get to 100. And that total should be the same total as that one there. Okay? And you can check that if you need to add those in a column there. <clears throat> now we need to turn this into a cumulative frequency graph. So again, we've got the 100 days here and the profit there. So that's the 100 there. So we need to have that sigmoid S-shaped curve ending on 100. So that first category up to 50, so we do it at the end of that interval, would be 10. So I go end of that interval here, 20, halfway along there, put an X there. Then next one, we've got 0 to 100 is 25. So we have, there's 20, that's 30, 25 there. 50 at 150. So um, 150 and 50, so 50 days, got 150. 80 days we have 200. After 80 days we have 200. After 80, 85 days will be 250, 85, so there's 90, 85, so a bit of a dip there, well, from that, that category, you kind of think it was increasing, at 300 we hit 100, and then we should connect those all loosely, roughly like that. Okay, now it says user graph to find an estimate for the number of days on which the profit was less than 125. So go to the profit, and we go to 125, there's 150, there's 100, so 125 would be halfway. We read up from there. Use a ruler, preferably, for this, um, but drawing freehand, and I'd read across there. And I'd say, if that's 30, 32, 34, but 36 days. And then it says, use your graph to find an estimate for the interquartile range. Now, the interquartile range is from 25% to 75%. Luckily... We've got 100 days, so we can read that off quite easily. So we go to wherever that's 30, so 25 days is there. So there's your lower quartile. There's 70, so 75 days would be there. That's your upper quartile, lower quartile at 25. And we read across, I'll say that it probably would have hit um, somewhere around, say, 190. And reading down, I'd say that's uh, coming up to 190, and then here, reading across there to 100. Um, so the interquartile range would be 90 pounds. Okay, um, so there it is. Add up each of those to the previous amount to get your cumulative frequency. Plot them at the end. You plot at the end of the interval. And then you can read off the graph here, reading up from 125, and there, reading across from the interquartile range. That's GCC Higher, Paper 1, 2022. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.